Hey there coworkers, today I have a special treat for all of you as I will be introducing a brand new game coming out soon on the 14th of July called Exo Primal. I like to call this game Salmon Run with Dinosaurs and I'm really, really excited for it. You will possibly see lots of content for it on the channel, so I hope you will also be interested. But now let's buckle up and dive in. Now Salmon Run has been a fantastic game mode and it is only getting better and better with the more features it gets with the new seasons from Nintendo, but at the same time it's still somewhat treated like a side game mode and because of that it can get dry or repetitive if that's the only thing you do. So I'm hoping that Nintendo will start giving it the treatment it really deserves, but for the moment if you feel a bit bored of Salmon Run, I think I just found the perfect game for you. Let me introduce you to Exo Primal, the newest project from Capcom and I believe a part of the Monster Hunter team if you're a fan. A cooperative shooter with optional PvP where you and your friends will be battling against immense hordes of dinosaurs on a distant island using super tuned mech suits called exosuits developed just for this task. To summarize the story a bit, the setting is around 2040, where an incident happened on a Bikitoa island and an artificial intelligence went crazy, resulting in time-traveling hordes of dinosaurs appearing and swarming the island through unknown dark portals. The player's task is to find out what is happening on the island and take part in the rogue AI's experiment in this time loop to perfect the perfect exosuit and stop the swarms of dinosaurs. Exoprimal, very similarly like Salmon Run, is a wave-based survival co-op shooter where your goal is to stay alive against the different swarms and types of dinosaurs trying to eat you, mixing up with random objective-based game modes like protecting a payload or facing dinosaur bosses. While your weapons are not random, in Exoprimal you're able to choose from three very distinct exosuit types, assaults, tanks and supports, depending on your preferred playstyle if you like to go aggressive, protect your allies or keep your team alive. Each of these exosuit types have multiple characters you will be able to choose from I believe, with a total of 10 at the start with full RPG elements where you can customize your skills, your looks and weapons with special modules and exosuit variants that they will share more about later and all of this will be heavily expanded as free title updates will be released for the game over time just like Monster Hunter does, so it has a steady plan on giving you content throughout the year. There will be several randomly chosen waves as you play Exoprimal as I mentioned earlier, from ground defense, payload escort missions to dinosaur hunt and super boss battles. But what's always the same is that you will be fighting with infinite hordes of dinosaurs that will never stop coming while you're alive and it only gets tougher and tougher. Similarly like in Salmon Run you will also have special dinosaurs spawning that are treated as bosses, such as a T-Rex that will require some extra tactics to beat, or you might even encounter a wild triceratops to make your day worse. But Exoprimal also has a twist on these dinosaurs as a mysterious mutation has taken place on them and these infected dinos are called Neosaurs. Neosaurs are even tougher versions of enemies you can encounter on your missions and will be your primary targets to take care of and will require careful gameplay and proper teamwork if you want to succeed on your missions. But if you're looking for an extra challenge, Capcom has also announced a special game mode called Savage Gauntlets and as you might have guessed from the name, they're meant to be quite difficult. Savage Gauntlets are going to be weekly rotating special challenges where you and your friends will have to face the toughest scenario of dinosaur swarms and try to get the best score possible for rewards, but beating this mission alone might already prove too difficult, so if you're a fan of special challenges, Savage Gauntlets is where it's at. Exoprimal will also feature optional player versus player mode along with its PvE only mode and players will be free to choose how they want to play, nothing is forced on you, but I know a lot of people have been asking for a special PvP mode for Salmon Run and that's exactly what Exoprimal implemented. In PvP two teams will be competing against one another in their own cooperative scenario on which team completes their wave smoother and faster, so this part is a cooperative competition, but with a twist that the final wave will have a player versus player game mode where you can interfere and try to annoy the other team from winning by even controlling your own dinosaur to disrupt them. It's a nice twist on PvP aspect of the game, but in rare cases the two teams might also have to unite and fight together as there are worse horrors lurking in those dark portals than a few raptors. Among all the dangerous Neosaurs you will also encounter super dinosaurs such as the Neo T-Rex, not unlike a Salmonid King. In the case of a Neo T-Rex invasion all exosuit users will have to unite and face this nightmarish dinosaur and attempt to defeat it before the time runs out. 
this game mode is very much like a raid from other games and will require your best performance if you wish to win, as this mutated T-Rex has quite a few tricks up its sleeve from shooting energy beams or sucking you in with a black hole only to finish you off with a final deadly bite. It looks absolutely awesome and this is probably the most exciting feature of Exoprimal for me. I really can't wait to see what kind of super bosses the Monster Hunter team will come up with as they already proved they can do the coolest fights over there. So I'm pretty sure they have a few surprises for us in Exoprimal too. That is a really fast and basic introduction to Exoprimal everyone that will be releasing soon on the 14th of July on PlayStation, Xbox and PC. Honestly, this game came out from nowhere for me and as someone who is a big fan of Salmon Run and similar cooperative games, I'm super excited for this one and as I said, I will likely cover a lot of it and will be a secondary game on the channel that you'll see quite often. With that said, I also hope you loved what you saw here as I'd love to see interest in this game and potentially also meet you all in game to play together or have live streams. So let me know in the comments if you're excited now for Exoprimal or not and if you'll be getting the game when it releases. But that is it for the moment everyone, expect more in-depth explanation of different modes and mechanics for Exoprimal in the coming weeks as I'll be covering as much as possible and don't worry as I still have a lot of content planned for Salmon Run as well. Thank you everyone for watching and I'll see you in the next one.